I'm at home with the Livermore Public Library. My name is Caitlin and today we will be using our scarves in the songs towards the end of story time. So please grab a scarf-like object for those songs. Greetings and salutations everybody. We are going to start our story time today with bread and butter. Get our hands ready. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ooh. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. It's pretty slow. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Very good. Now we're gonna continue with the itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun that dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. for our letter of the day. Today's letter is S. S is the first letter in words like sun or silly or snake. It's also the first letter in our word of the day. The word of the day we're going to see in our book that we read later. Today's word is safety. Safety is the quality of not causing injury or loss. But mostly, it's when you stay away from dangerous situations, you try to be extra careful to not get hurt. So when people say, safety first, that means they want you to think about ways that you can help not get hurt. to go along with our letter of the day. Today's letter is S, and I thought we would sing Slippery Fish to go along with the letter S because slippery starts with S and so does swim. So let's get our fishies ready to swim and we can sing the song. Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, go. Gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a... An octopus, octopus, swimming in the water. Octopus, octopus, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a... Tuna fish, tuna fish, Swimming in the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a great white shark. Great white shark. Swimming in the water. Great white shark. Great white shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by a Humongous whale, humongous whale, swimming in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. 
Burr. Oh, excuse me. I've had too much to eat. The end. Now it's time to read a book. Today we're going to read Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Our word of the day is going to come up quite a bit in this book. So please keep an eye out for it. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. It looks like he learned that with first-hand experience because he's falling off his swivel chair. That's not safe, that's dangerous. So don't stand on swivel chairs. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. <sighs> Afterwards, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then, one day, Napville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Why are they staring? Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Then. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he discovered this morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Because <laughs> what's Gloria doing? She's jumping up, pretending like she sat on a pointy, uncomfortable thumbtack. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Hooray! Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. People are paying attention. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Napville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria in it. Officer Buckle thought the draw drawings showed lots of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. 
Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along the police dog. Do they want the safety tips or do they want a show from Gloria? Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Having a friend is fun, especially if you share ice cream. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. Look at all of those people watching Officer Buckle and Gloria. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms. The students jumped to their feet and applauded. <laughs> bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. Gloria is uh, quite the theatrical dog. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving anybody any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage, looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It looks like Officer Buckle got his feelings hurt. He didn't know Gloria was being silly. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. That looks like a very big accident, and look. She's not obeying safety tip number 77. She was standing on the swivel chair. Next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. Shocked means surprised. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday, your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry, I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. The end. Stand up, and we're going to get moving a little bit. We are going to sing Shake Our Sillies Out. Now remember, we shake our sillies like this, and we wiggle our waggles like that, and the rest of the movements we'll do as the song progresses, okay? 
We're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your wackles away. We're gonna jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out and wiggle your wackles away. We're gonna yawn, yawn, yawn your sleepies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn your sleepies out. Yawn, 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 your sleepies out. And they blow your waggles away. We're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. And they blow your waggles away. Hooray! Good job! All right, everybody, grab your scarf because the next two songs we're going to use with our scarves. The first song we're going to sing is Popcorn Kernels. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Very good, one more time. And remember, be sure to grab it by the very corner of your scarf so you have plenty of space to swish it all around. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Very good. Now we're going to sing our Opposite song. Are you ready? We wave our scarves up and down, up and down, up and down. We wave our scarves up and down, wave our scarves. We wave our scarves left and right, left and right, left and right. We wave our scarves left and right, wave our scarves. We wave our scarves round and round, round and round, round and round. We wave our scarves round and round, wave our scarves. We wave our scarves front and back, front and back, front and back. We wave our scarves front and back, wave our scarves. We wave our scarves fast and slow, fast and slow, fast and slow. We wave our scarves fast and slow, wave our scars. Very good job. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for story time at home with the Livermore Public Library. Let's finish things out with Tickle the Clouds. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high, story time is over, now say goodbye. Goodbye and I will see you next time.